Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 26th of October 1860, Giuseppe Garibaldi met with Victor Emmanuel II, the King of Sardinia, at Tiano and handed him control of southern Italy. Hailing him as the King of Italy, Garibaldi's surrender of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies effectively ended any hope for an Italian Republic, but was one of the most significant events in the unification of the peninsula. Garibaldi landed with his thousand, better known as the Red Shirts, on the island of Sicily on the 11th of May. The number of troops under his command quadrupled within just three days, and so, on the 14th, Garibaldi proclaimed himself dictator of Sicily in the name of Victor Emmanuel II of Italy. Within a fortnight, Garibaldi's troops had besieged the Sicilian capital of Palermo, where many of the inhabitants joined with him and began to attack the Neapolitan garrison. Despite the arrival of 25,000 reinforcements, the Neapolitans surrendered the city following an armistice that had been facilitated by a British admiral, but not before the city had been virtually reduced to rubble. Further difficult battles followed for Garibaldi and his troops, but by the start of September they had crossed to the mainland and taken control of the city of Naples after the king fled with his army. However, he was not yet defeated and still had the support of around 25,000 soldiers. At the Battle of Volturno, Garibaldi's red shirts were only successful against them thanks to the arrival of the northern Piedmontese army, who then made it clear that they would not allow Garibaldi to march towards Rome. When Victor Emmanuel arrived on the 26th of October, therefore, Garibaldi handed over his territory and retired to the island of Caprera. 